Have you ever wondered what it feels like to stub your pinky toe on a cement block or maybe run your forehead right into a brick wall multiple times? To me, I feel like that's what it feels like to be a ones main in Rocket League. The constant pain of getting scored on repeatedly, getting kickoff goals on you repeatedly, losing very simple 50s and just giving up free goals constantly. The anger, the rage, the pain I feel while playing ones is something I would have liked to those first two things I talked about. But if you want to get good at ones or good at Rock League in general, you need to play ones. And it's the fastest, most efficient way to do it. And the things that I'll be talking about in this replay of Crimson Plays, or if you're around the streams and in the comments or in the Discord, Chronico. The things that he does in this game and the mechanics and the things that I'll be talking about are what will help you get better at twos and threes because ones is the best way to get better at Rocket League. Let's get into the video, get into this right now. Big thing right off the bat that we're going to talk about are kickoffs. You have to be good at kickoffs to be good at ones. I talked about kickoff goals in the intro. If you're not, ones is a great place to practice kickoffs. Kronko had a very fast kickoff, and I atone it to him just being so, so good at once. He's played so many, so much once. Good save there. Kind of challenged weirdly here and wasn't able to get back in time. Great shot for here from uh, Obi-Wan. Now, if we kind of look back, this video is probably going to be longer because of how quick ones is. But yeah, Obi-Wan does a great job of just sticking with the ball, keeping possession, and... Crimson tries to come in and commit to this and just not there. Obi-Wan keeps control, keep, plays it away from him and cannot cover as fast as Obi-Wan can shoot this ball. And that leads to the first goal. Now, the only thing I could think of that Crimson could have done differently was maybe uh, see that Obi-Wan was going to challenge that and not go for it, but it's, it's tough. You want to be aggressive in ones, be fast. Um, as you can see, the kickoff is bad in that scenario. Uh, we can go back and look at it, actually. Uh, Crimson Plays just had a, a bad kickoff. It was all, all wily, and he wasn't even close to where the ball was. Now, that's why I said in the intro as well, kickoffs. You have, you're going to get real good at kickoffs, or else you're going to get scored on a lot in ones. Give up a lot of freebie goals. Much better kickoff there. Uh, execution wise the result didn't work out the way he expected really weird way to try to recover there I'm not sure what was going on but it worked out and now we're starting to keep control big win there got gets the boost plays it out to the middle takes control goes for a air dribble flip reset or double tap doesn't quite work out but just the pressure of it was enough to get him a goal here right Obi-Wan has to make a play here to try to save it, and then the quick turn to shoot again seals the deal. If you can get good at that in ones, making taking a shot and maybe just forcing them to make a play on it, and if they don't touch it, being able to turn immediately and take another shot, you're gonna score so many goals. It's that quick turnaround to come back and go for those um, shots that really help well, a lot of ones players score a lot of really easy goals. Good speed here, getting the boost. Uh, obviously just a, a miss there. Um, he was gonna do something good though. He's gonna take control of that ball and try to dribble it. That's something that you need to learn how to do in twos and threes, is how to go and take control of the ball. On this goal here, Crimson's just faster than this ball. Obi-Wan hesitates really hard. Like, starts backing up and reversing. So Crimson just straight up just goes for this free ball like Obi-Wan's never gonna get there so it's a bad read from Obi-Wan turns it to an easy goal from Crimson and this is what makes ones frustrating you make one slight misplay and everything's over good fake from uh, Crimson here I really like those diagonal fakes that he did here on kickoffs in ones especially let's say if your opponent has a speed flip kickoff and you're not quite there yet I would recommend learning speed flips kickoffs but if you're gonna face them in a match, sometimes just faking, getting your, your opponent out of system is a really good idea. And he executes it very well. 
uh, Obi-Wan does read it and does the right move, try to take control and dribble it, but you're, as you fake it, you're kind of accepting the fact that worst case scenario is that they're going to have a nice dribble on you and you just have to be ready to defend it. Unfortunate here, just the way everything kind of worked out. Trying to play it out, Obi-Wan just takes good control and Crimson tries to bail and he just gives up too much space, which, I mean, in this scenario, he's very close to the ball still, but this is still too much space technically because it gave Obi-Wan plenty of time to gather a flick and put it top ends. But I think something with ones is you have to understand is you're just going to give up pulls like that no matter what rank you are. Like, it's impossible to be perfect all the time because you have to cover so much ground all by yourself. It's just not feasible to do at all. Good touch. Would like to see him maybe try to actually 50 that, but that's fine. And then uh, just gives up a goal. The right play, he did a good job of trying to control this, but you know, you gotta play this to the side. You don't know where Obi-Wan is. I wouldn't be comfortable just hitting this out normally. I probably would jump up aerial and flip it into the corner just because I would be afraid. But I don't say it's necessarily wrong trying to control it, but you can't control it to the middle. It's just going to be too easy of a goal. Let's see what this kickoff looks like on this one. Very solid. That's a very fast kickoff. That's going to catch a lot of people off guard. I don't think it's a true speed flip, but it's still a, a speed kickoff. Fast kickoff. I don't remember what they call it, but yeah, it's still a good kickoff. Good fake challenge. Not over committing here. Got a little deep on it, so if we go back, got a little deep on it, like one fake challenge, got really, really deep. Like, I mean, they're basically in the same position on the field right now. If Obi-Wan would have got a harder flick, he would, Crimson would never get to this. But I like the idea of fake challenging, right? Trying to get this ball off of Obi-Wan, make him make a play quick, and then nice control here. Try to go for a fake, was a little squirrely at the end there. But controlling the ball consistently is what's going to win games like this. Good speed. Try to go for a, more of a dunk, I would say, or a block. But he got the boost in the corner, so that's a win for him. Be able to keep a little bit of pressure. All right, another scenario where he's giving Obi-Wan a lot of space to flick, but Obi-Wan missed that time, so that worked out. Something you can probably do to try to avoid this is after the first fake challenge doesn't work, I mean, at some point you gotta commit, uh, probably not giving up this section of the goal here. So the angle that he's going at this way, he keeps kind of going this way. Eventually he's gonna lose like a third of the goal. Everything on his backside is where Obi-Wan's gonna flick. So trying to keep it's like in, in football, they always tell you to stay on like the back hip of your, if you're trying to tackle somebody, you want to stay on their back hip so they can't cut back on you. Well, that's what we're trying to do here. We want to not be more, not line up so much with them, try to be more back here. So that way you can hopefully speed up in time to go get anything that he pushes far and still be able to, to take care of any near post things that uh, Obi-Wan would decide to do but it gets a little too far forward and then Obi-Wan cuts it back on him and almost scores again, but he actually had decent enough positioning where cutting back actually missed. So that's something you just have to be careful of when you're in a shadow defense. You don't want to get too far in front of your of your opponent because then they have a, the option to cut back on you and that's when you're going to get dusted. Dusted a lot, probably. Now this is just unfortunate, honestly. Um, I don't even know if there's anything he could have done. He's just set all, all the way on the other side of the field. I mean, there's no point in rushing up. And then I would say probably just rotate back post. Honestly, just go rotate back post or try to get into a shadow position. Just sitting in the middle of the field isn't going to do anything, right? So trying to rotate back post or trying to pinch the, the area that he could actually shoot that down a bit would probably been better, but... It's unfortunate. What are you going to do? Sometimes you just freeze when you realize, oh no, he has so much space. Oh no, here he comes. I can't uh, challenge. He's just going to cut past me. So, a good shadow defense there. Again, got a little too close. Probably could give him more space, but it worked out really well. He controlled it 
saved it away, and then boom. Obi-Wan overcommitted. Overcommitted right here. Overcommitted, tried a fake challenge. Just blew it past him. And Obi-Wan realized he faked, he overcommitted because he tried a challenge last second and it just didn't work out. So really good goal there. Good control. See, having control gives you those options to actually make those plays. If you would just punt that upfield like a lot of players would do in twos and threes, right? Uh, nothing's going to come of it. You know, maybe your teammate gets a, up there and redirects it for a pass, but like that's not what's going to happen. You know, you're just going to give possession to your opponents. Great kickoff win here and just a great solid kickoff goal. That's picture perfect. That's what having a good kickoff does. I would say Chronicle has a very good kickoff, like above average kickoff. And then look, boom, Obi-Wan immediately goes to a fake after losing a kickoff. Both players are using their brain, trying to switch things up. I don't know, maybe it's something Chronicle could do more is not rely so much on full boost pads. Like, he could have maybe got this. I don't think this boost is actually here, but he's dead set on trying to get this one. Whereas maybe if he kind of does one of these and Chuck comes back upfield, he might, he'll have enough boost to challenge something and kind of stay in the play and also not give, you know, Obi-Wan this entire field, right? Because he's all in this section. Obi-Wan has this entire field to work with, but if you kind of stick close, you cut off where he can go before he runs into you, re realistically. So I'm always a big, uh, big, big advocate on trying to get little boost pads as much as you can. Because look, Obi-Wan goes to an open space, keeps that ball going diagonally. This also gives Obi-Wan opportunity to get boost too, because he didn't have any. And now he cuts it up, tries to play it past you, and you're kind of in a weird spot now. Good play so far. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a chill pill here. We gotta remind ourselves something important that a lot of people don't understand with ones is you have to play ones differently than you play twos and threes. Ones is a ground game. You do not aerial as nearly as much as you would in twos and threes. And I would honestly argue you aerial too much in twos and threes as well. If you keep the ball on the ground, you have much more control of it for at least a lot of low level, play low level players. So has a decent fake challenge, actually plays this away, and then Obi-Wan's taking this. He sees Obi-Wan go for the boost and then jumps, trying to go pinch this ball quick. But the ball is like right in Obi-Wan's pocket, right? Like, he's just gonna play this away. Now you're kinda out of position. Um, being careful with that, like, you know, remember you're playing once, just sometimes just sitting in net or gathering little boosts and circling around is a better option. Or just trying to stick into a shadow defense. Like right here, like you have zero boost. Why are you up on the wall? Like, why are you not in the middle of the field trying to get a little boost pass? Now again, you're still low boost, still low boost. Like you score, but it could have been much cleaner, much easier if you would have had little boost pads and not rely so much on those big boost pads. But I will give you credit for sticking with the play and stick with the ball with the little boost you had. A lot of people would bail on that and give them space. But because you sticked with it, even with zero boost, which you probably shouldn't have had, it would have been fine. It worked out great, actually, because you uh, chose the ball over the boost. Unfortunate open net miss. Honestly, you had a great play, played it past Obi-Wan, but just missed open net. Uh, you can't ding people for missing open nets. Like uh, To me, like that's just, oh, you messed up your mechanics. It's not like you didn't have the mechanics or you don't know them. So, sometimes you just got to chalk it up to, that's unfortunate. <sighs> like that, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> that's just unfortunate. Thank goodness you saved it. So, yeah, sometimes you got to, there's categories to where things are, right? Like, you could have took your time a little bit, maybe put that on net, but, you know, if you're going to go, if you know how to do something, you go for it and you mess it up, that's just like a, an NBA player missing a three-pointer, right? We'll talk about that but like yes if you mess up a mechanic that's just like an nba player missing a three-pointer right that's a percentage times you're gonna hit it and miss it so you i wouldn't harp on those so much just because you what 
miss an open net. It's like, oh, I need to work on power shots because I suck. It's like, no, you just missed one open net. At least you had the power shot. I think he tried to wave dash here. Was that what Chronicle was trying to do? Is this a wave dash? I, I think he tried to wave dash and ended up double jumping by accident and just gave up a free goal. I don't know. That was weird. That was really weird. It may have been like a laggy thing too. Who knows? It may very well have been lag. Good play here. Very fast getting this to the opponent's uh towards the opponent's net. So again, great kickoff one. Exactly what I like to see. Speed. Played it off the corner, got instantly in a very dangerous position for Orange Team. And Obi-Wan's just not recovered yet from the kickoff. Has a little bit of a misplay, and Chronicle puts it away. It's so underrated, like, how much, like, having possession of the ball matters. If you can utilize your possession of the ball, like, you're going to win so many games. Ones, twos, threes, it doesn't matter. Keeping possession and taking touches that make you the next person to go for the ball, like, it literally is game changing. Good defense from both sides there, going in overtime. Last kickoff, the most important one. I feel like Chronicle, Chronicle's kickoff is good, but it seems inconsistent with the way he flips. And I don't know if he does it on purpose. But maybe learning a speed flip and just doing that consistently each time for each position would be better. But like I said, don't know if he does it on purpose. Because sometimes you want to go for a slow, slower kickoff to maybe uh, get a more favorable outcome. And then Chronicle just uh, unlucky. Uh, Obi-Wan had good, good control. What have we been harping on all video, right? Good control. Chronicle low boost. Just decides to jump at the wrong time and... Ends up forfeiting before the goal goes in. But yeah. Unfortunate loss. Uh, I think his control of the ball and his speed are really good. I think there are some misplays, obviously, that I could just attribute to just... You know, it's not like he did something stupid, you know what I mean? It's just, oh, sometimes your fingers don't do what you want them to do. And you double jump a step wave dash. Or you uh, miss a power shot. That's just like within human error, honestly. And I think a lot of people harp on themselves too much for that sometimes. But overall, the big things were great kickoffs. Very solid kickoffs from both players. I would argue that because Chronicle's kickoff was so good, it was the reason that he stayed in this game. Keeping control of the ball. Both sides of the, the, the field here kept amazing control of the ball they were not punting the ball upfield trying to go for like touches out of the corner and ones like that doesn't work you just give possession to your opponent and then we saw a good defense right chronicle's shadow defense is a little sketchy in some uh some instances but overall it was very good right he was be able to make a lot of plays on those balls that were coming in from the flicks from obi-wan and yeah those are some big things that if you can practice those more in ones, those translate really well to twos and threes because it'll make you more solid, it make you keep the possession, and it'll make your just overall control of the car and ball just so much, so much better. So, you're going to hate your life playing ones, but you should play ones because it's super important, and if you want to get good fast, play ones. I think I watched Spook Luke have a real or a short about it where he said you know if you think about how many times you get to make the play in ones which is every single time right you're constantly used to touching the ball versus in twos it's like in half you get to touch the ball half as many times and then if you think about threes it's even probably even more less than half of the time right you're diluting down how much you're actually getting to, to use the ball and touch the ball and that makes it so you progress slower so, I'm going to stop rambling there, because then this video is going to be 40 minutes long of just me talking about random shit that no one cares. <laughs> if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully the office isn't too messy. I know this area is pretty, pretty terrible, honestly, but stop looking at it. I know one person commented about it, so don't stop looking at it, okay? All right, I really appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.